The Pope is on another trip. He is in Mexico. What is he doing in Mexico, Tamara? He is trying to get all of the information about clerical sex abuse out, and a, he wants to have a conversation about it. So Pope Francis's top advisor on clerical sex abuse says bishops have moral and ethical responsibility to report all cases of suspected rape, molestation, and other abuse to police, even where local laws don't require it. So if you remember back to a few years ago, there were two children, I believe, or a few children that were uh, more finally... More than a few. Yeah. A handful. That were finally... A plethora. ...came out about being... Um, molested and raped by these people of standing in the church and I think actually two people might have come out of it actually fathering children um, of people of women that are in, ended up having these children and so and it's also not even like I mean they're also molesting boys I mean it's, oh, it's disgusting it's everyone there's not really any like no victim left on yeah turn. and it's frustrating because instead of actually reporting these instances and letting it come to an end they just keep passing around the priest from parish to parish yeah and they end up paying and they also end up like in certain places they mask they pay people off so they do settlements and they like mask it in the church yeah. like they mask the money in church foundations and in like cemetery maintenance to sort of mask the fact that they're molesting children there's a whole documentary about this but yeah way. you should watch it um but this is absolutely horrible and it's frustrating to see because the pope is trying to stand out and make a difference about this but at the, in the exact same time he's being completely disregarded by people that are supposed to look up to him for almost everything that they do and respond upon yeah no and here's the and i give the pope i give this pope a lot of credit i think this is the one issue where pope benedict i'm not catholic but i know a little bit about it right where pope, pope benedict sort of fell on the sword because of these molestations and how crazy it was because yeah. it was just so vast it was happening so fast and because one person was brave enough to talk about their story and share their story thousands and thousands of other thousands and thousands of others globally came out and said that's my story too i've been through this as well um and, and i think it's just sad that this is happening to people that you look up to like the priest and i uh, like priest and you know fathers yeah. at churches uh and catholic churches and whatever uh, and so I, I think this is the right step. I mean, I don't know if Francis is going far enough because despite calls from victim, from victim groups, he did not meet with any of those, or he doesn't plan on meeting with any yeah. of those that were sexually abused in Mexico. But I want to say, and I'm not 100% sure, so if I'm wrong on this, YouTube or radio, just correct me, but I want to say he met with some of the victims that were in the United States when he came. I, I want to say, sure. I want to say that, but don't quote me on it. Um, but either way, I think it's a very powerful thing for this Pope to sort of say, we're going to work on correcting this problem in the church um, because it's a problem that is, this is a moral, this is like a morally corrupting thing. Yeah, this, I don't, the thing that hurts me the most is the fact that these people have dedicated their lives to the church. So one part of me kind of understands the idea that they're covering up these things that they're doing and they're pretending they're not happening because this is their entire being. They don't have anything to fall back on. But at the same time, this is their entire being. They have devoted their lives to these practices and putting in this time and effort to learn what goes on in the Catholic church and the Catholic religion and then they're completely throwing it away by doing something that you wouldn't expect someone of that level of religiousness or religiousness. value you would but at this it's true like yeah the de they're almost deities yeah if anyone is going to be on this planet that should hold themselves to a certain level it should be these people I couldn't have said I couldn't have said it better myself Tamara 